This is Claire Boucher, otherwise known as Grimes. Can you even believe this unbelievable badass? I feel like it's sort of a mark of our generation that uh, no one really has any purpose for doing anything creative and there just seems to be all this like meaningless art. And like I hate to contribute to that, but I guess I do. Almost as if she has an obsession with creativity. And she expresses it in a ton of ways. Fashion, drawing and painting, video. But she's known mostly for her totally infectious pop songs. I, I do think there are a lot of smart pop songs. In fact, a lot of the pop songs that would be considered you know, very vapid mainstream pop songs are very, very smart. Grimes is ultimately a pop project. I consider pop to be just music that is ultimately extremely gratifying. It's music that just seeks to hit the pleasure center. And even though she claims to hate singing... I hate singing. She's obviously a front woman when she gets on stage. But what she cares most about is not the performing, it's the producing. But you know, I'd constantly be getting emails from like producers and stuff being like, I'd love to like work on some tracks on your album. People just offering to do your job all the time and it's just like infuriating. I mean, even just to get to the point where I could like produce my own record like, while I'm here. Like I don't want to be just like the face of like this thing that I built. I want to be the person who built it. And you can see her creating a clear distinction for herself between the two. Producer Grimes is just Claire Boucher. But in order to perform, she needs to put on characters. When you're making a record and you're never talking to anybody, you just start, oh, I'm gonna try to write in the voice of a, you know, like with a Harley Quinn kind of vibe, like just sort of this jokery, like scary. I'm pretty much always pretending to be someone else when I'm singing. I started for the first time writing in other people's voices. It was a huge door for me when I first started trying to write music for other people. Because suddenly you don't have to feel self-conscious. Lyrically, it's also so much easier. You're like, oh, well, this doesn't have to be something my parents are going to hear and think, wow, I can't believe you did that. Which is actually a huge, probably one of my biggest hindrances as an artist is like my parents or grandparents being upset by my lyrics being, you know, not PG or too weird or something. So she plays characters. Specifically a character, a pop star named Grimes. And here you can see her play both parts. You can see her going from her performer side to a producer side. She's really working the crowd. She's getting ready to do the drop and... Where was it? Producer Grimes is trying to figure it out. Oh, there it is. What happened? Oh, now she's Claire Boucher. Now she's Grimes again. And for the video Flesh Without Blood, she created a whole bevy of characters. If you've seen the movie Looper, they're like kind of like traveling through time, so they're like different iterations of the same character over time. So if Ivy's like the really, really ancient one, and then like Screechy Bad is like the like the current one, then like they're traveling through time to kill the Marie Antoinette version so she doesn't f things up. Ivy is sort of like the demon, this is so embarrassing, leader of the album. Ugh, God, I can't say it out loud. No, that's really weird because Grimes is usually totally unselfconscious about anything she says in interviews. I feel like Justin Bieber is really underappreciated, I guess. I, like, he's pretty talented. And, and tied for the most nominations. Yeah, in, yeah, in no, stuff, it's, it's, right? uh, it's a huge honor. It's yeah. very exciting. My grandparents are stoked. Yeah. These are, are the symbols from the fifth element on the four fingers. Like, I would start a song with this, like, I would just go like... Like... You know what I mean? Yeah. And her lack of self-consciousness comes simply from the fact that she does whatever feels right. She never even intended to have a music career. It just happened because it felt right. Were you always making music? Have you always done it kind of? Uh, no, it's kind of, a, I started when I was maybe 22 or 23. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. It's really weird that this is my job. I love that. <laughs> Did you play any instruments as a kid? Or? No, no. A friend needed backup vocals, and he was like, I just need a girl. You don't have to sing, like, sing, be good at singing. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know. So I did it, and then I was like, oh, this is easier than I thought it would be. And then I wanted to, like, record myself, so I just got another friend to show me how to use GarageBand, and then I just started making beats. That's no amazing. Yeah. So whether she's working with a high budget and Janelle Monet to make an imagery-laden, crazy, glossy, beautiful, phantom, slow-mo, amazing, music video or co-directing with her brother Mac under the pseudonym Rocco Prime. Oh my god, this shot, keep going. On super cheap found location music videos. It's all about what feels right for the project. Basically the, the second tour I ever did was thousands of people every night. And previous to that, the biggest show I'd ever played had, was like 300 people. So I just had to suck it up and do it. And then like once I started doing it, I mean, it's been really interesting to me to see how much you can actually um, just create this, I don't want to say like fantasy, but you can just, I'm like, I'm in the process of molding reality. I'm coming to like 
take great pleasure out of building this uh, like idea of what Grimes is and controlling everything about it and really just being able to, like, all I do all day is just make creative decisions.